Journey. Journey of my mind. That's what I found. We felt that the world definitely needs to heal. And all this is, is just a different perspective on the mind. This exhibition was never done just for the Sikh community in Birmingham. So it was really important right from the word go that the exhibition was there and would be accessible and would engage people from very, very wide cultural backgrounds. Every message I read, I felt like it was relating to me about what we're going through in our life, the pain we're going through. The chalkboards and the questions that are on the chalkboards. You know, we all think, well, what is love? What is hate? What is right? What is wrong? And to actually see that, to confront you, it's like having a mirror held to your face. I've not come across any other similar exhibition or, or platform which has so successfully integrated spirituality, spiritual practice with, with, with the art world. Technically, that image points to a moment in time, and yet there's a way in which this whole thing is presented which doesn't feel attached to time. It's led by art, beautiful pieces of art. I saw the exhibition on the back of a bus, so I thought that this was really smart of you to have a really strong, wide appeal across all of your sort of marketing. So we thought we want to target as many audience groups as possible, so we made sure that we catered for the young, you know, the adults, working professionals, to all people from different backgrounds, so they were aware of just that, that it was for them as well, and not just for a particular cohort of people. You've worked with the Midland Art Centre, like the Icon Gallery and the Rep, and you've actually brought a, an extra piece of glue into Birmingham. It was fantastic that your exhibition reached so many different people and different organisations and many more people from different areas of the city were able to connect.